Hey guys, time to start working on 2018 Halloween props. So I haven't even packed all of 2017 away yet. Still have this guy hanging out. And my Jack in the Box, which I'm waiting for a new relay for from eBay. But I just picked up this radio flyer. Um, kind of looks like one of the vintage style bikes, which is what I wanted. So what I've always wanted to do is make a prop that's from Saw. So I want the classic red tricycle with Jigsaw riding on top of it. And I've always wanted to make it motorized. So I finally picked one of these up. Uh, used 25 bucks from Craigslist. Uh, pretty good condition. I mean, you know, has a little bit of rust and stuff here and there. Um, some of it's kind of cheaply made versus probably the older ones. But so my challenge is I want to take off the axle um, because the outer part, let's see, let's take a look. So underneath, so there is a solid axle that goes all the way through the axle tube here. Um, I can't get to the axle tube or to the axle itself through the tube. So I was originally going to try to just put a gear on the axle. Um, I mean, I guess I could try to cut the tube off, but what I'm going to do instead is I ordered two high torque gear motors uh, with six millimeter shafts. So this is about a 9.6 millimeter uh, axle. I think it's about a three eighths or something, half inch close to that. Um, so I'm going to take that out. So what I'm going to have to do is I'll remove that. But what I'm also thinking of doing, because I didn't notice these kind of down tubes here coming out beforehand, so I'm going to cut them off here on both sides because there's not really anything. This is the only weld below this weld that's holding on this little uh, foot plate. Uh, there's nothing else structurally holding it together because these, these tubes here, the axle tube is coming out. I'm not using the axle. So I'm hoping to use these same holes here. And after I cut this off, hopefully I can fit my new motors in here and just mount it directly underneath so I can still use the same holes maybe put a bearing in there. I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but we'll see. So my other challenge is taking this off. So it came with these little nylon, whatever they are, bushings that are flat. And the tube here for the wheel is raised. You can see it's not flush. So that's going to kind of present a challenge. I just got these hubs in today. That's why I'm starting to mess with this. So the hubs are, again, for my 6mm shaft. Uh, these are all threaded holes here. So what I was planning on doing is just doing something just like that. Well, as you can see, it's raised up quite a bit. So I was thinking I can, I can just grind it down, uh, do something like that, and then just mount it directly. But actually, if you look through and you see the backside, it's just folded over metal. So I'm not sure how well that's going to drill out or how easy it's going to be to put some screws through there. Also, you can see the center of the ax the uh, the tube for the axle in the back. It's all cracked open. It's not welded. The only welded ends are, yeah, just the ends. Just right there and right there on the other side. So if I grind those down, it's not going to be welded at all which, I mean, does it really matter? I'm not sure, there's not really gonna be any weight on it, but, I mean, these are metal wheels. These are these are pretty heavy by themselves, so I'm hoping my motors even have enough torque to, to push this whole tricycle when it's all built. But, so what I did so far is I took these to the drill press to help mounting them a little bit easier. As you can see, I drilled out a little spacing for it, so instead of just kind of fitting up flat like that on top of it, Let's see, so we can actually kind of force it on. There we go, has a nice little pop. So now it fits pretty good on there. So hopefully that'll make mounting that the, uh, the hubs a little bit easier. I mean, I've never done anything um, like adding hubs or adding motors to anything that didn't have a motor before or transplanting axles. Um, so my biggest worry, of course, is getting the wobble on the wheels. But it's going to be good. I mean, I ordered a 60 RPM motor. 
And I think I'm going to try to run it even a little bit less than that. Um, from 30 to 60 I'm thinking, so we'll see when it's all finished. But So hopefully you won't notice really a lot of wobble. But so this is what I think will be basically the final product. Um, just try to get that center and try to drill out the hole, see if I can get some screws that are long enough to go into the hub through the bushing and also through the metal plate here. And if that doesn't work, really just grind it down and um, use some heavy duty epoxy, see if that'll hold it, um, hopefully, since again there won't really be any weight on there. And then I'll cut these tubes off and take the axle out, take the cross piece off here, uh, the axle tube, and the mask is already ordered from China of course. And my motors are on order, so I won't get those for about a month or so. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. And I think the front, my initial plan, I was thinking about trying to maybe do a servo on here to turn it, but I think it's pretty unnecessary for my purposes unless I'm going to make it remote control, uh, radio control of some sort. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'll just have some kind of tracks here running on a designated path. For Halloween and just run these motors on Mike North's four banger so I can program it to just start and stop um, and then this will just kind of get you know, turn around or make its turns through the track that way it also won't get any ideas and go anywhere we don't want it to go so yeah that's it so once I get everything uh, all the rest of the parts together we'll add them to the hub See if we can cut these axle tubes off and, uh, yeah, make it work. All right. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned.